Hey guys, how you doing? This is Wally with CheapHostingLeader.com and today we're going to be doing a quick SiteGround cPanel tutorial. If you want to know what you're getting with uh, SiteGround before you get started, this SiteGround uh, cPanel uh, tutorial is for you. As you can see right now, I am logged into my back office for cPanel and it looks like this, just to give you a glance of it. And you can see all the tools that you get site improvement, you have WordPress, Joomla, different uh, CMS uh, platforms, you got um, Drupal as well. So that's a, at a glance, and I'm going to go over more of these in uh, detail. But as you can see right now, this is the uh, cPanel that you'll gain access to when you get started with them. So um, what I recommend you to do if you haven't done it already is if you're on the SiteGround website, you can see obviously that they have three um, plans to choose from. The startup plan allows you to, to host one website. I think it's ideal if you're not a if you're a blogger and you just want to you know just do one website or you're a small business owner and you're just looking to host one website, then this is ideal for you for three ninety five per month. A lot of perks that come with it, as you can see right here. Um, as for me, with my particular website with cheaphostingleader.com. I actually went with the Grow Big plan only because they allow you to host multiple websites, limited domains versus just one. So it all, it all really boils down to what you really want or need when it comes to web hosting. Um, as I mentioned, I do have the Grow Big one because it gives multiple websites that you can uh, host and some other additional features that you get with them when you get uh, signed up. So once you do that, just go ahead and click the, uh, the Get Started button and just follow the prompts. I mean, from beginning to end, it takes about uh, 10 minutes. You know, you're going to select your domain name and all that, enter in all your credentials, and you'll get an email from SiteGround saying that your account has been activated, which is great. And you'll also find in that email a link that will allow you to log into your cPanel, which will bring you here. So this is a cPanel. As you can see, you have different... Uh, tabs here, you have your home tab, my accounts, which is mine, support, billing, referral deals. If you decide to uh, refer or tell other people about SiteGround, you can do that as well. They actually give you a referral link that you can include, you know, on your website. And of course, you can add different services to your account as well as some resources that SiteGround gives you. But what I wanted to talk about right now, as you can see, if you purchase your domains. I'm not sure who you prefer to purchase your domains to rather. Me, I purchased a lot in the past to uh, GoDaddy. And what I like to do is just point the name servers to SiteGround. As you can see, my two uh, name servers right here. Um, once you do that, from that point, you can host your website through SiteGround. But once you get to the cPanel, you can see subdomains itself. If you want to add on a domain, you can simply just click on it. Obviously, if you purchase the domain first, you can come here and just like add, you know, that domain there. So you can type in uh, like one that I'm using right now is like demo site, like four, five, six, and it's not a real site, but it's just to give you an idea of how this works, how to add domains uh, to your to your account. I typed in, for example, demo site. 456. It's just one that I made up just for the purpose of this uh, SiteGround cPanel tutorial. And once you click down, it's going to create an FTP username for you along with the root uh, domain. So what you want to do next is create a password. What I recommend is creating something that's like super long, like maybe 10 characters, 12 characters, something like that. And it'll be very strong and you just repeat that. As it says, very strong and it's green, which is good. You can also get them to generate a password for you. But of course, you would have to remember that. But once you finish, you just click add domain and you'll see that new domain that you added right there. So basically, once you get started with, you know, SiteGround uh, and you selected uh, the plan that you want to go with, your main domain, like in my case, is cheaphostingleader.com. But once you get to cPanel, you can add as many domains as you want with the Grow Big plan and also the Go Geek. You can only have one with the startup plan itself. As you have uh, subdomains, 
if you want to set up subdomains, you can do that as well. Um, you know, I don't have any subdomains right now currently on my cheap hosting leader.com. But if you wanted to do that, you could create one just by typing in whatever you want to title that uh, subdomain. You can have like support dot, you know, cheap hosting leader.com or whatever your you know domain is. And it automatically populate, you know, for your um, your root uh, domain. Now you hit create. And again, you'll see that pop down there. And that's again, if you want to add on like subdomains to your website, some people do that. It'll create like like a support dot something or, you know, whatever it is that you want to call it, you can do that uh, there. So that's um, how you add on subdomains and how you add on domains itself. Yeah, park domains, redirects. If you've never done a redirect before with SiteGround, it uh, works very uh, simple. You can uh, do it as a permanent or a temporary. If it's permanent, um, it's just going to propagate across Google and the search engines, and they'll automatically redirect it to whatever domain you you want to do. What you want to do here is type in the domain that you want to be redirected. So in my case, if I wanted to redirect uh, cheap hosting leader, you know, dot com, I would type it in right there. Whatever domains, if you if you want to look at different domains, if you have like several domains already with SiteGround, you would just click here on all public domains and you'll see all you'll see a long list of the domains that you have been. You simply just select which one you want to redirect. And if you're an affiliate marketer, or you have different products that you promote or what have you, you can just type in, you know, whatever that domain is. Right. Let me just type in like site demo dot com or something like that, whatever. And it's whatever you want it to be, whatever that wherever you want it to redirect. And once you add it, whether it's, you know, wild card or not, you know, and that's really important because if somebody types in online like www dot and whatever their domain is, or if they just leave the www dot out and they just type in the domain, it'll automatically redirect to that, depending on which of these selections that you do. I recommend just uh, selecting the the um, the redirect with or without, which is always, you know, the recommended. So once you do that, that redirect is uh, selected. If you want to delete it, you can also do that as well. The domain itself will appear down here. As you can see, I don't have any currently right now, but you'll have the option to delete it if you want to do that. So that's how you do add-ons, um, add-on domains and, and, and redirects. Now, if you drop down, of course, um, if you've already gotten started, when you get started with SiteGround, they will ask you which platform you want to use. In my case, it's WordPress. They'll automatically set that up for you so you don't have to. But in the event you want to add on domains, as I just showed you how to do, you can choose again which platform that you want to use. Um, if you drop down, you'll see other um, platforms here. Let's see, dropping down to emails, you can set up unlimited email accounts as well, which is amazing. If you have like, I don't know, like a contact me at, you know, whatever your domain is dot com, you can set those up right here as well. So in my case, I mean, I have one that's set up for contact at, you know, cheap hosting leader dot com. You can do the same thing. And of course, you need to create a password um, associated, you know, with that. And again, you can just embed that, you know, on your website. But the cPanel itself, as you can see, you have a lot of nice tools here. It's a really amazing. It's very user friendly. If you want to upload files, you can do that as well here. You can see how much space that you're using, as well as visitors, bandwidth. And also dropping down for more advanced, if you're more on the techie side, you can look at Apache as well as uh, CGI Center and Image Manager and those. I don't really bug with those because I don't really need them, but I usually just uh, focus on um, these tabs up here, which is most people, if you're beginners or you're, you know, kind of medium to advanced, you'll probably only use these, you know, four categories. I prefer WordPress over, you know, Joomla. I have used Joomla in the past. But I think WordPress for me is more user friendly, as you probably would agree as well. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the cPanel uh, for SiteGround and its tutorial. 
Um, tell me what you think about this uh, video. Tell me what you, um, if this video helped you to really understand how to use and maneuver through cPanel for, site, for SiteGround. If you're wanting to get started today with SiteGround, I definitely recommend just uh, going with the Grow Big. If you're a blogger, Grow Big is, I think it's the best plan to go with. If you're a person that has a website that has up to you know 100,000 visitors, the Go Geek is, is for you. But again, whatever, whatever plan that you decide to go with, you're going to get this C panel right here. And it's going to allow you to, you know, not only create, you know, new sites, but again, to have more control over your website. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, this is Wally with CheapHostingLeader.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments in the comments area and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you so much. And